Hello, everybody. Welcome to John Davis True Crime Time. Uh, that was cringy shit. All right. Here's what we're going to talk about. We're talking about Cleo Smith and um, kind of some stuff that's been going on since Cleo uh, was found safe after missing from 18 days after she was abducted from the very tent her and her parents were sleeping in. Wild. I have to admit, personally, and I apologize to Cleo Smith's parents, I really thought they had done something with Cleo. I, I'm big enough of a man to admit when I make a mistake, and I made a mistake. And, but, you know, I'm going to defend myself a little bit. I never said they actually did it. I pointed out things that I found suspect. Once again, I apologize. Moving forward. Um, number one, they talk about um, Cleo's health, her mental health going forward. They're saying she could have PTSD. She could have flashbacks of, you know, things that happened. Um, and she could have just this sense of not feeling safe. I hope none of that is true. I really hope this will not be something that defines Cleo's life because um, she is such a, a pretty little girl. She reminds me of my little girl. And, you know, she seems so sweet. And she seems, and I've only seen pictures, but she seems like she has a big personality to go into that tiny body. She, she's, a, she's a good kid. Um, next, the media is talking about, um, how the, the family can make millions off their story. You know, uh, I can't knock somebody for making a buck. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, any money they do make off of it could, could probably be well spent helping Cleo with, you know, some things that she's going to have to overcome like the PTSD and stuff, if it arises. Maybe it won't. You know, kids are resilient. Kids are really resilient, I, I think. And um, hopefully, like I said, it won't come to that. But, you know, the media's making an out about how all this money they can make. Hey, go for it, man. You know, if you can, do it. Um, I hope, though, if there's stuff made about it, that won't have a negative effect on Cleo moving forward. So there's that. Um, yeah, and the media, they did a whole thing about Cleo's classmate had said the night before, I hope Cleo's found. And I just thought, well, you know, I mean, we all hope that every night, you know. I really, when I first learned about Cleo, man, I was really hoping she would be found. I, to be honest, and um, I don't want to seem pessimistic, I'm shocked she was found. It doesn't turn out good very hardly ever. And especially as long as she had been missing. 18 days is a long time. I know um, a lot of people have heard said after so many hours, the chances are reduced dramatically. And I'm sure at 18 days, if you looked at the statistics, they're horrible. So it's it was really a, a miracle that Cleo was found and as good a shape as she was. Um, this is something too, and I'm kind of tore up about how I feel about this. The, the station, the new seven, which is a uh, big in Western Australia had, um, put pictures out of the supposed kidnapper. Well, they had the wrong pictures. What in this guy? Now, this guy is pissed. He's suing. He's saying he had, um, hold on, let me, let me find it. He had a panic attack. Um, he's been crying and, you know, all this stuff. And, you know, he, he's got a lawyer. He's suing. I'm kind of torn by that. I mean, I can understand being mad about it and all that. And, you know, what I guess, you know, you could sue. But let's not make it out to be bigger than it is. It seems like today everybody wants to be a victim. And, um, you know, 
But one thing I will say is, after watching that, uh, I, I seen something else. News Seven here in Western Australia has had quite a many of these screw ups. There was a lot. I mean, it showed, uh, it, it gave examples, and there was uh, five ten in the last couple of years, easy, and you know. They should definitely be a lot more careful about how fast they throw stuff out there. Seems like to me they're just trying to make the, the story the fastest. And, you know, they're, uh, they're screwing up uh, a lot. They have a big history of being wrong. Um, they're asking, is there a chance that this dude had help? Well, so far, no. It doesn't seem like that's the case. They had a uh, guy come forward. He had spoken to this this uh, Chloe's kidnapper, and he had said he had told him he had a daughter. That's interesting. Um, I know, you know, I don't think he had help. It doesn't feel that way. Maybe he did. I was wrong about the rest of it. I could very well be wrong about that. I don't know. And, you know, I want to say I am really impressed with the work that was done to recover Cleo. Now, having said that, these this West Australian police are some, they're really patting themselves on the back hard. It's kind of like uh, how LeBron James calls himself the GOAT. You know, they're kind of really giving themselves credit. And, you know, Credit is due. It's just usually you will let other people tell you how great of a job you did. You don't tell them. Uh, I find it interesting. You know, they seem really, really cocky, in my opinion. But they did do a good job. They did find her. I'm just saying, maybe let us uh, praise you instead of praising yourselves. It's a bad look, in my opinion. That's kind of an update on where Chloe's at. Let's all say a big prayer for Chloe. Hope that um, she's going to be fine moving forward. And, you know, God bless.